Meanwhile, the work still continues to turn the lights back on after last week's windstorm left thousands of people in the dark. 10 News reporter Jessica Jewell followed an Appalachian power crew to get a closer look at their efforts. She's live tonight in downtown Roanoke. Jessica, these crews, are they still working around the clock? Yeah, John, absolutely around the clock and it has been all hands on deck here really since the windstorm started on Thursday and while the power has been restored for most people tonight, there are still thousands in the dark. So today we spent time with crews who are working hard to fix that. Last week's windstorm with gusts of up to 60 miles per hour knocked out power to 75,000 Appalachian power customers across Virginia. As of this morning, 7,200 were still in the dark. And today, we spent hours following crews working to turn the lights back on. It doesn't take much. Just one tree could cause a huge problem you spend all day working on. Mine mechanic Ethan Mayo led a crew trying to restore power to about 50 customers in one of the hardest hit areas, Bent Mountain. Lots of trees down everywhere. It's not as easy as you might think. They have to travel miles off the beaten path to follow the power lines, walk along the entire line to look for any issues, make sure there's no electricity running through it so it's safe, then get to work actually repairing it. Sometimes you get lucky and a tree just brushed it, but most of the time there's wire down and you have to climb a pole and put the wire back up. This is what crews have been doing since the storm hit Thursday, repairing these lines to try to restore power as quickly as possible. The crew members we followed today are among 1300 people working to make that happen. While power is back for most customers, Mayo says they'll keep working round the clock to get everyone back online after one of the worst storms he's ever seen hit Southwest Virginia. Until the next tree falls or till the next windstorm, ice storm, I mean, just until the next thing breaks. It, it can be a permanent fix. It's just Mother Nature doesn't really have any guarantees. 10 News is staying on top of these outage numbers for you. In fact, we check with Appalachian Power within the last hour to get the latest. They tell us there are still 4,500 people across southwest Virginia without power. Live in Roanoke, Jessica Jewell, 10 News, working for you.